Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and I'm going to mess this up so that you don't have to. This is what we're doing. Today we're going to be making a simple little rubber stamp using things you can find around your house. This is an upcycle project. As you can see here, this is just a rubber eraser and a bottle cap to, I think, a bottle of water. So let's get started. Now you can do this as elaborate as you'd like or as simple as you'd like. I'm gonna do my logo because I'm a little bit of a masochist. It's a bit harder to do. There's very thin lines and everything. There's negative space, there's positive space, there's stuff going through the middle. So maybe that'll help you in deciding whether you want to do something more elaborate. Uh, again, you don't have to do my logo. That's not what I'm trying to teach you here. But if you wanted to, I mean, go right ahead. First, what we need to do is transfer over uh, whatever design that you want. Uh, the method that I find is quick and easy is, is to use a bit of uh, pencil and just mark up the back of whatever it is you want to transfer over and then tape it down to in this case your eraser or you could be using a small linoleum block or a denser rubber uh, you know or buy specialty sort of rubbers for stamps and transfer it over this way you're going to want to tape it securely down to whatever you're carving out of and then transfer it over with the lines and something magical is going to happen. It's almost like carbon paper. Your design is going to be transferred over with the pressure of your pencil or pen or whatever you use on the top part. That'll be transferred over and then you're ready to go. To get started, you're going to need, you know, as you see on the table, you're going to need uh, just an X-Acto blade or if you have like carving tools for linoleum block carving, that would work even better because then the tip um, is sharp so you can sort of dig into things like a little spade. I'm just using a simple uh, X-Acto knife. This is not a paid advertisement. Any kind of pen knife will do as long as it's sharp. What I like to do to start is to kind of cut around all of my lines first. So I just find all of the all of the edges and whatever I want to keep, I cut around it first because then it makes it really easy to sort of carve out underneath it. You're gonna see a little bit of that going on um, as I'm telling you this. And it's really just trying to be as careful as possible. You don't want to cut into whatever you want your stamp to be. It has happened to me in the past. I did come out with one successful one, which is this one here. You can make these as big as you want, as small as you want. I think this is probably the smallest you're gonna to wanna to go. I didn't really need this for anything. I just kind of wanted to make one. So I decided on doing this little project. Again, my logo is a little bit tricky because of all the little angles and especially at this scale, it gets very, very tough. So be very careful if you've got any sort of sharp corners or anything like that. Uh, be careful not to sort of cut into your actual design and just sort of carve out what you need. You don't need to go too deep, just cutting deep enough so that your what will become your raised lines um, is able to hit the ink pad um, without it flopping around too much. Uh, that's sort of where you want to be as far as carving it out. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what I did is, fortunately, my little shape is really easy um, to kind of shove into a circle. <laughs> so I didn't have to do any sort of gluing or anything like that. If the eraser itself was thinner, you might want to add something underneath it just to raise it up, just so that as you see, my design is kind of peeking over the edge of that little bottle cap. But this is something you can make with stuff you probably already have at home. And you were gonna throw this bottle cap out, now you can use it for something. That eraser doesn't have to be brand new. It could be something that's been sitting around. Who uses erasers? You know what I mean? I had one sitting around, I cut it up. Now I've got a stamp. Stamp, 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 stamp. Stamp, 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 stamp. And that's pretty much it for our build today. I uh, encourage you uh, to try this out. If you do try something out, you wanna, you want me to see it? 
let me know in the comments or something. I don't know. No pressure. Do the YouTube things. The whole, like, you know, subscribing of things and commenting of things. I reply to everyone. Look, there isn't that many people commenting or watching, watching right now. So it's really easy for me to hit you back immediately. This is all gamified, so once I get a little notification, I'm like, oh, what did they say? I want to I wanna talk to them. So, you know, feel free. You got any questions? Got any comments? Let me know. I'm trying out a new lighting thing. I just put some diffusion onto my light. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying it out. You want to say something about it? You want to say something about it? I, that, was, that was a little bit hostile. Okay, here's the end thing that with the thing and the... Bye.